On May Day, I witnessed widespread violence and oppression against peaceful protesters. What did we do to deserve that? We took to the streets. Um, we impeded traffic. For this, we were attacked. Punches flew onto our faces and our bodies. Bikes were smashed against us, and horses were marched into crowds. People were injured both physically and mentally. <clears throat> the city says that they are responding because we are impeding traffic. The police officers are the ones impeding traffic when they attack us, pin us, and assault us. The time it takes the Portland police to do this is much longer than had they just let us keep moving and pass along. Your excuses are plainly ridiculous, but I'm sure you already know that. When I see the horses being brought into crowds, I have the same feeling of shock and horror as when I see pictures of fire hoses being turned on peaceful protesters decades past fighting for racial equality. Can you see that? This city's treatment of the Occupy protesters is inhumane and shameful. I'm asking you to have a heart. I'm asking you to do unto others as you would have done unto your family, your friends, and yourself. <coughs> These are principles instilled in us from an early age. Yet this basic respect for others is tossed aside in this city with the Portland government and the police bureau. We are in the streets because our government no longer represents the interests of the people. So we are making our, vo our voices heard. I am here today because Portland's government no longer represents the interests of the people, so I'm making my voice heard. That is my responsibility as a citizen. It is your responsibility as our mayor to work in the best interests of the people, not the corporations. Those, this world we live in looks shocking and increasingly like book 1984. Please read that book, look at that message, and see that that is becoming our reality. Then ask yourselves if you want to be the puppets that take responsibility for imposing that oppression onto others. Does that make you proud? Are you not, you are not only hurting us, but you are also hurting yourselves. Martin Luther King Jr.'s principles of nonviolence teaches us that evildoers are also victims and are not evil people. <clears throat> Together we can create a new world, one that lives up to the ideals we were taught as kids, a world in which we truly do have freedom of speech, press, and peaceful assembly. And you have the power to stand up and make that happen. Take a stand against the bullies above you, no matter how big, bad, and scary they appear. We have. Join us.